This lesson is about Charles Darwin's voyage aboard the HMS Beagle. It's titled, A Voyage of Discovery. In this lesson, we will identify Charles Darwin's contribution to science. We will also describe the three patterns of biodiversity noted by Darwin. Charles Darwin was born in England on February 12, 1809, the same day as Abraham Lincoln. Eager to see the world, he got the chance in 1831 when he was invited to join the HMS Beagle on the five-year voyage. The captain's job was to map Darwin was added to keep the captain company. No one knew it, but this would become one of the most important scientific voyages in history. The Beagle set sail at a time when scientists were revolutionizing views of the natural world. Geologists were suggesting that Earth was ancient and had changed over time. Prior to that, people believed that the Earth was only a few thousand years old. Biologists were suggesting that life had also changed, a process called evolution. Darwin developed a theory of biological evolution that offered a scientific explanation for the unity and diversity of life by proposing how modern organisms evolved through descent from common ancestors. Darwin's work is so important because it revealed that the living world changes continuously. Evolutionary theory helps us understand and respond to important events such as the emergence of drug-resistant bacteria and new strains of influenza, the virus which causes the flu. It helps us to predict the dangers we face if human actions were to drive too many species to extinction. Evolution is often referred to as the theory of evolution, and a lot of people misunderstand the word theory. In everyday language, theory can just mean an idea or a belief. But a scientific theory is a much more established idea than the way that theory is used in everyday language. A scientific theory is a well-established, testable, scientific explanation of events in the natural world. And scientific theories change when new evidence arises. So Darwin's theories have have been sustained for a long time because they explain so many things and no new evidence comes out that can really strongly contradict them. If there was evidence that contradicted them, then a new theory would have to be developed that encompassed both the old evidence and the new evidence. So a theory is, is more than just an idea. A theory is well supported by evidence.